we are at the first annual ever uh, Sedalia Balloon and Kite Fest and it is Friday evening they're gonna do the balloon glow and then tomorrow morning we got to be back here bright and early because they're gonna do the balloon launch and I want to see it this is the first one they've ever done and so far I've counted around 12 13 balloons I think I can't tell if there's others laying down over there or not. I'm going to flip you around so you can see them. With that one, that first one there, is doing tethered. Oh, is the second one doing tethered too? They're doing tethered rides. It's like 20 bucks a person. They're making a killing because if you look at the little line of people all the way over there. Yeah, I think they're all waiting to do the tethered rides. We're going to pass. I mean, unless you just wanted to. No. <laughs> They're starting to uh, inflate over here. And then they're supposed to light up for the glow.
the balloons launch and they're not going to launch because mother nature has decided to put some lightning very nearby and I understand protecting you know can't have them people up there in balloons while it's thunderstorm and lightning and whatever I'm irritated with mother nature been hot and sunny all week she waits till this morning so, we are not going to get to see the balloons launch. They are not rescheduling. They are just not going to do it, which is a bummer. But it, their storm's supposed to be this evening, this afternoon. So, I really don't know when they would do it anyway. Anyway, we're, well, I don't think we're going to hang around. Well, I don't know what we're going to do. Well, we might come back. They may do the kites, like mega kites. So, it's not like the little kites you buy in a Walmart. They're like big huge mega kites. They're supposed to do those at like I think nine o'clock. That's like two two hours away. That's probably almost seven. I don't it's know. a little after six. Oh three so hours three. away. So we'll see. If it if we get to see it, you'll be seeing that next. Okay, we're back. We're gonna see the pet and zoo here a little bit. We're and then we're gonna go over and see the kites. Well, we may have missed the balloon launch. Well, we didn't miss it. It was canceled, but but look at the kites. Some regular kites. But look at these over here. This big purple bear, I guess. I'm not sure what the big purple bear is dragging behind him. But those are really cool. And there's some big ones laying down there. Looks like maybe a whale or something. And I don't know, a squid, possibly? Possibly. So those are really cool. They're huge. Oh, I might get to see this one take off. I've never seen kites this big. Yeah, that one? Yeah, I think I got it in the shot. Well, the teddy bear is tired, and I believe he's taking a nap. He's my favorite one. And the whale, that poor thing, he just won't go. It's too heavy. <laughs> but aren't they cool? I think they're pretty nifty. They're so big. 
I'm a glad. I'm a glad. I'm a glad. <laughs> I am glad we at least got to see the kites today. Okay, we're gonna try this Japanese hibachi steakhouse, whatever it is. It's new. We've heard it's good. I want to try some actual sushi that didn't come from the Hy-Vee cooler and see what it's like. Pretty spiffy joint. They even put our water in wine glasses. How fancy is that? I kind of tore that one before I got it on video. So there's the crab rangoon, miso soup, and a salad with ginger dressing. It looks like leaf soup. <laughs> That's probably seaweed. Okay. She brought me special chopsticks because I've never used them before. They're springy. They're like tongs. I should be able to use those. How's your salad? Good. Is that dressing good? Ginger dressing? Yeah, it's like sweet. Hmm. Interesting. Crab rangoon was deep. Delicious, best I ever had. Salad was good, right? Yes. Dressing was pretty amazing. Really good. How's that miso soup working out? It tastes like crap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a fan. But you're gonna eat it anyway, because yeah, I gotta pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I got the 911 roll. It is spicy crab meat, spicy tuna. And he got chicken and shrimp with fried rice and veggies. Ready to eat? Yeah. Ready to get the miso out of your mouth? <laughs> okay, this is really, really, really good. This is my first time ever trying a raw fish. That's tuna. It's all spicy. Really tasty. How's yours? It's good. I'm like the waitress. I wait till you got your mouth full and then I ask you. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's that sauce? I don't know. I was scared to try it. <laughs> so, my first experience with a Japanese hibachi steakhouse. I liked it. I'll go back. That was the first time I ever tried raw tuna. It was good. I liked it. He liked his food. Service was really good. Prices not too bad. Very nice restaurant. Very nice people. We'll probably go back at some point. If you're in Sedalia ever, like for the state fair or whatever, you know, maybe stop there. Give them a little business. <laughs>